Hey there, and welcome to the Loser Bracket Semi-Finals for the TI3 Western Qualifiers. That is right, one of these two teams will see their dreams and hopes shattered before their eyes. Because they won't be able to go to Seattle anymore. Of course, this is a rematch, kinda. Um, it was EG that beat Mouse Sports yesterday. EG's no. It was EG that, that beat Mouse Sports Wednesday. To be able to get into the uh, well, in the winners bracket finals over their group stage, and we're gonna see if they can do it again, or if Mouse Sports this time has uh, got a bit more up their sleeves. We will see at this game. We saw some amazing games already from EG today. They were not able to make it through, unfortunately. And we're gonna Ten see if Mouse Sports remaining. can have more luck than they had against their previous opponents as well. We're going to be having Most Nature's Prophet and the Magnus getting banned out by EG with a Nyx Assassin as well as a Wisp getting banned out and therefore indeed the Bat Rider EG's still in the pool and of course pick. the first pick up for Mouse Sports. For EG we still have the Shadow Demon in the pool that of course can be considered a bit of a counter to Bat Rider. Lasso is not going to be there. <coughs> or well it is there but the disruption makes sure that the target in the Lasso will not be damaged while in the Lasso, it's lasso itself. So. That helps out. We got ourselves still the lone druid in the pool. If EG want, want to have that remaining. one, and they're actually taking their time. Five we already have 30 remaining. seconds used for bonus time for uh, Mouse Sports. I actually almost forgot about Life Stealer. They still have that one. Time. So they could go for a Life Stealer and the Shadow Demon. That would be nice. Okay, I'll try not to be biased this game. I just realized. I'm sorry. So, yeah, EG Lifestealer, Bat Rider already up on mouse boards. Oh, leaving the Shadow Demon in is interesting mouse tactics sports. here. EG have a plan. Bane. And therefore, Bane out of the pool, Shadow Demon still mouse in. Sports, and a Bane pick. and a Shadow Demon together make no sense. But if they want to deny it to EG, they have to pick it up. But then they're kind of almost forced into two duel, two duel lanes or something like that. We'll see. And we'll see what Mouse Force picks up together with the Bane. Of course, Bane Ten could have been a pickup for the Lifestealer for EG. Um, you have got then your aggressive Five trial and complete because the Nightmare will set up for everything that you want it to be. And if you hear beeping now, let me know. Reserve Soon. Because Cat went on laptop. But this time you won't be hearing other noises because laptop was just only rebooted. So. Um, yeah, um, also, thank you everybody for being here, I know that there's a lot of different streams out there for this match, and, well, I'm basically casting this for me, no offense, and, um, I'd like it to see that there's other people that like to see me cast as well, so, yeah, good. I just wanted to have that out there, and, um, yeah, like I said, no chat, no delay on the chat, because I'm casting this using the Dota TV, so you can actually... Give me feedback on the spot, as I can consider these, of course, as, well, games that kind of give me practice casts. Lone Druid, last pickup for mouse sports, so that's going to be their hero of choice. Ten seconds I'm going to be seeing that on the off lane or safe lane. Could be either. Bat Rider can be safe lane Five or solo mid. Remaining. Or even jungle if they really want it to. Reserve time. And EG, now that they can't get a Bane, do they want to have the Shadow Demon still? Because the Shadow Demon Keeper of Light is okay-ish, but you need to time that Illuminate very nicely. And we already saw B this though, Keeper of Light is one of his heroes that he has con got control over completely. So it should be okay, but it's not ideal for sure. Weaver. And they're gonna go for a Weaver instead. Mouse sports so right now, now they're ban. ignoring the Bat Rider pickup for Mouse Sports. The Mouse Sports probably still gonna be banning out the Shadow Demon just in case. There it is. And uh, in the case of Evil Geniuses, they probably want to ban out heroes that work well together with the Bane, like uh, like a Lashrek, Lina, Jakiro, jo those kind of heroes. Maybe even a Clockwork, considering Life Center is on EG side. Not really expecting a Clockwork more. Well, because I know Mouse has not played Clockwork as support that often. Oh. There's a Juggernaut, actually. 
Of course, we've seen the Juggernaut Lone Druid combination plenty of times before, and we've also seen Koikfa going for the Suicide Lane Juggernaut like they did in the previous game, for example. And let me just change the title of my stream, by the way. Visage getting banned out. I'm gonna be nice. I'm just changing it to lower bracket semi-final so people know don't know which teams they are. Yeah. But yeah. Visage was the pick uh, was the bad out for mouse sports, as uh, we are gonna be seeing the Dark Seer getting banned out by EG. So still expecting Bat Rider in the mid lane. Fada Bat Rider is of course a very strong one. Uh. Storm Spirit, not gonna be in the pool anymore EG's for Demon. Turn to ban. As of course they already have the life sealer, so the bomb is about there-ish. But no more storm life sealer bomb that they had done on the Wednesday. And we see last band from EG incoming. Mouse sports. Turn and that was of course the one that we were expecting. The clockwork last or next first pick of the second picking phase for mouse sports. There's a lot at stake here. One of these two teams is going home. I don't know about you, but my compendium actually said that these two were the top two. Now that already can't happen anymore. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. All the pressure. What kind of respect for the players, though. Reserve time. I mean, you have to play your A game right now. I mean, come on. TI3 is what you live for. If you don't win this. And EG, they had Lena. such a powerful showing on uh, Wednesday. EG's turn to pick. Well, there's Alina. We were expecting her, or at least I mentioned her with the bands. She wasn't banned, so she's picked. And this could actually turn into aggressive tri lane. Lone Druid safe lane, Bane, Lina, and any carry could be an aggressive tri lane. Or at least, if they're expecting an aggressive tri lane from EG, we might see uh, Mouseport just going for a safe lane and then just making sure that. Um, Night Stalker. Uh, with uh, no with an, a tri lane that can actually compete with the aggressive tri lane of EG. Uh, Night Stalker, Demon Night Stalker, we've seen it before. We're gonna see it again. We've seen it work before. We've seen it not work before. Can go either way. Ten seconds remaining. Gyrocopter. And there's a gyrocopter still. So you got yourself EG's the bane set up. To pick. Nightmare into rocket barrage, into light strike array. Dragon Slave, everybody dies. Well, the one target that was there dies. The last pick from EG coming. Now that they know that this is a very strong tri lane, I don't think they want to be picking up their own defense, uh, own, uh, own aggressive tri lane anymore. Ten and seconds remaining. Right now, what they lack? Disable. They have Five slows, but no disable. Work. There we go. That's disable, and everything that Mouseport throws their way is also rubies. So that's at least going to be making more sense. And let's see if Bamboo is going to pick up the Night Stalker to confuse Mouseports again. Mouse, they don't do that stuff. They just pick up everything that they want. Maybe Black and Koi will swap or something like that, but that might be it. Don't even think so. EG just taking their sweet old time. Waiting until that last moment so they have all the time in the world to still think about what they're gonna be doing now. Demon already picks up the Night Stalker, they're here. And the pause goes off as well. As Fada actually uh, went for the pause. Needed two minutes. We're gonna be okay with that. In the meantime, we're gonna be introducing the players to you. We're gonna be seeing Pass playing the Bane Fada on the Bat Rider Black, playing the Gyro, Sinran on the Lina, and Koik on the off offlane. Lone Druid. Look! Lone Druid is too tall for his picture. The hell? You don't see his face. Any other weird picture profiles, pictures? 
He's actually moving his face. He's moving his beard. Lina's moving. Oh! Oh, he's back! Ook! Okay. Bane is hanging in the still. Oh well. Jumper says over to EG. Where we have Demon playing his Night Stalker. B is on the Keeper of Light. J.O. playing the Life Stealer. It is going to be Bamboo playing his Weaver and Fear on the Rubik. Let's see what people do here. Just the background that moves. Ooh! He moves his thingies. He moves his jaw. It's good that he hasn't got a tongue, otherwise it would be very dry. Keeper of Light. He's blinking. And chewing something. Probably his gums, because he doesn't have teeth, maybe. And there goes the goal again. And, uh, yeah. Night Soccer wasn't moving that much. Rubik is not a frog. Rubik is a duck. Look at the duck face that he has. This is not a frog. Duck face, really. EG moving pot. With all of their team. I'm following them, it's nice. Mouse Sports is not really uh, going uh, well. He, they are going bot, but not with everybody. They leave the lone druid to go top. So if this turns into a level 1 skirmish, Mouse Sports is not going to be having the happy side of it. They're going to try to run. And EG, are they going to hide? I'm going to try to find Sinran. Sinran is already on the run though. I think he scouted them. Yeah, he did. He's running. And he'll be able to run into safety as well. Everybody scatters. 30 seconds to battle. So let's see who's going to be where. As I have found a new thing to drink, by the way, to work out. Instead of every time having hot tea and stuff, I just put warm water in my water bottle. It's stupid. And I don't like to drink warm water, but it's working. I, I can tell. It feels better. Yeah, it does. It's funny. The battle begins. It's like being in the shower and accidentally drinking some of the shower water. It's also awkward. Warm water. Regeneration. <laughs> anyway, I already told you who's playing what. And we are going to be seeing a safe trial and indeed coming off from mouse, expecting the aggressive trial in from EG. Aggressive trial with bamboo there and beaties and fear as well with the. Uh, <clears throat> Life center on the safe lane farming. We know this one. We have seen J.O. last Wednesday in games where he hadn't died in three games in a row and had 30 kills to his name when he did die in the end. And not, I mean, overall, over all the games. Let's see who's gonna be the initiator first because right now, of course, I mean Aggressive trialing done by EG, so they need to be aggressive. It's very simple, though They don't really need to be aggressive specifically. They would be okay as well with just shutting black down Because they'll get they got the life sealer even though life sealer against a lone druid is not gonna be easy Especially not once that qualifier reaches level 5 But it's not gonna be uh, it's not gonna be hard for now. Because we've got Demon in the mid lane, five for zero, Fada sitting on seven for one, Fada having the best of it so far. No real surprise, Bad Rider versus Night Stalker. Turn rate, so annoying for a Night Stalker to be slowed by that. Sorry. Um, for people in the VOD, as I said at earlier games as well, I'm talking less to save my voice, otherwise there will be nothing left of my voice. And that's not good, obviously. But, uh, but yeah. In the meantime, I'm expecting the first blood to happen on this bottom lane. <coughs> Be that from EG, able to blast someone away, or for, for Mouse to counter-initiate upon EG instead. 
I'm not expecting the mid lane to die because I'm expecting Demon to know what kind of lane he's up against and to be careful enough to be able to deal with that. I'm expecting Fara to therefore not be able to make a kill and he's not gonna die from a night stalk. Oh, no. just illuminate. Blasting a bit on black, but it's just level one. He does have a chakra magic now though, that helps. And I'm not expecting a kill on this top lane until the lone druid is level five, which is actually half a level away. And then when he gets an entangled, Jail will be having a lot of trouble. And of course, if Mouse Wars want to try and do something, they have to have Pasta set it up. Because they'll need a Nightmare into a Light Strike Array and then kill him off. Rocket Barrage there as well. There is actually a Sentry Ward up on Sinrin still if they want to take down Bamboo, and they You've can. Been burned. But yeah, Nightmare needs to be there. And there are not too many creeps around because, of course, the rocket barrage will be there. But they realize, EG realize, they can't really kill anything. B it is will be sitting around here to help Bamboo stay alive. But Fear actually rotated into the jungle and is uh, going to be helping out on the bear that is indeed about to hit level 5, knowing that Jail needs help when that moment happens. There's the open moves. They're going to actually try and take him down. Fateful already going through. Is it the telekinesis there as well? There still is. Here it comes. There it is. Going to get dropped down. Going to be a first blood. Self helping out. One more hit. We'll do the job. Fear gets it. It is going to be EG taking the first blood. And Hot Dark receives the prize. The hell. Why can't I receive prizes, right? Such a shame. Anyway, Weaver is gonna be... Well, he should be okay for now, actually. It's only because b is hanging around there, at least, but... Do you hear music? I felt like I heard music. Radiant Sorry, Weaver does not okay. There was the Nightmare, the Light Strike Array, the Rocket Barrage, and the Sentry Ward. That's all that it took in the end. I'm distracted by the music. Is it the Dota 2 music? Maybe it is, actually. Could be. I mean, Tefada almost level 6, and so with level 6, might be able to take down the Night Stalker. 22 for 2 upon uh, Demon, with 28 for 3 upon Fada. I'm quite impressed with Demon, able to keep up with uh, Fada in terms of last hits. But with level 6, might see a change. I didn't spec anything yet though. It will depend. We will see what he's like. Based on what he specs, we'll see what he's aiming to do. He's gonna go for darkness. He might try to go for something. He's gonna go for Radiant's Hunter tonight. He'll probably not attack. go for anything just yet until he's level 7. Structures are fortified. Fada though. Level 6 as well. Has got the night. Has got the lasso right now. In the meantime, Koikfa hanging a bit back, can't really push, can't Radiant's push rather. Now that Beat is roaming around, they do therefore rotate Lina though. Lina will be able to help out the pair. So if there is an Entangle, there will be a Light Strike Array and a Dragon Slave on top of that one as well. Fada gonna be able to pick up the Invis rune, gonna be helping him with the free lasso. See if he wants to do it mid or not. Demon rotating, or roaming, rotating, just hiding. Sees that Fada has the Invis. So knows what he will come, what he can expect. In the meantime, Jo able to farm a bit, knowing that uh, Koikfa knows or Koikfa thinks rather that there's people there. Oh, last ooh, demon! Nice strike array hits, brain sap as well. Demon running for his life. He has sick charges though. Eight sick charges uses them, runs. He might be able to help out. No, the flame rake will be enough to take him down. And that is gonna be a kill going the way of Mouse Sports. Two for one right now. Yeah, people laughing all over. Damn, we're gonna be running away. We'll be level five right now. He's been given some freedom though. By the all the supports rotating, not just his own, but also the one of Black. But he can't out, out carry Black. Can't out farm Black either. It's too difficult to do. Good luck with that. Well, maybe. AG can take down tier 1 tower top to get something going for them on the map, get some extra core gold up. Illuminate will help out as well. B 
speed is. Almost got enough gold for boots. Tower is going to be uh, not going down. Oh, they want to have this bear. Open wounds up on the bear actually used for that. Illuminate going to fly out as well. Bear is going to be able to stay alive. Tower is not though. Jo is actually uh, tanking it a bit. And he is able to. Bit of nine. Not going to be there. Jo gets the tower hit. And backs off. No entangles for Koikfar. And actually demon with the smoke hanging around. There he goes. There he goes. There's a void. And there's a telekinesis. And that's gonna be quite far going down for the second time with Beatus picking up the kill. Thara not able to do anything with that. Has got a haste rune. Again a rune that will allow him for a free lasso. In the meantime they come to you on the bottom lane. Pass. Gonna be saved here by Sindarin. Nice strike array is gonna be there. And now... Demon running for his life after the brain step from past. Keeper of Lycos still goes out on the top lane. That was a lasso used. Not used rather for that one. This is gonna be a lasso. Hey demon. Where are you gonna go? No, not even a lasso needed. Doesn't need it. It's gonna be telekinesis. It's gonna be helping out. And the neutral kills off demon. Nice job, Fear. He's gonna pay for that. There's finally the lasso. And that's gonna be the second kill that Mouseport get. In total, three went down though, because Beatus, of course, went down as well. It was two for two, and now it's three for two. Three extra kills go in the way of mouse sports, even though one of those, like I said, was at a night to neutrals. Demon gonna be happy with that one. But with those kills that uh, Fada was involved in, in the end he managed to get a... Well, not a double kill, actually. A lone drew to the Rubik. But he did get his blink dagger with those kills and being involved in them. And he's been involved in three out of the four kills that they have. Oh, we missed our went to the creep. Interesting black. Fada just swarming up a bit more. There's a big stack hanging around there, set up by his supports. And he'll gladly take it. And of course, plus being there also for the experience. Because experience is nice. But Demon doesn't have really a very fun nighttime. And EG, slightly on the back foot of things. They still have, of course, JL farming. He did not die in that encounter on the top lane. He got the two assists of the two kills that have done so far, have happened. And he's building towards his armlet. Devil damage! And we're gonna be seeing uh, probably. I, I would expect some aggression from EG soon. I mean, they need it. They need it indeed. Smoke up now for Mouseport, blink in Lasso. Hey, Fear, come here and go down. No hope for him. Koikfa picking up the kill. Fiends grip up on Demon. It's going to be another one. Flame Break helping out. Putting him just out of range of the call down, though, but it doesn't matter. Fada will gladly take the kill. Two kills extra going the way of Mouseports. Mouseports, they're fighting. Their ticket to TI3 is on the line, and they know it. And they want to put everything on everything. Dyer's to take it home. Is under attack. Or at least to keep the chances alive, which is what this match is all about. Dyer's top tower is under attack. An EG. Slyly. Not sure what to do. Slyly on the back foot. We do have Jo very high on net worth. Can he actually take it for his team? Maybe with the Weaver and Fest out. Looking for a target. Gonna try to find Fada. Hello there. And we'll be able to pick him up. That's good. Illuminate will clear him out. BD is taking the kill. That's okay. Kill's a kill. Fada goes down. And Jail wants to get involved in a kill. Once again, getting a bit more gold. And more importantly, Fada is the highest farmer of a mouse sports, so they were able to shut him down a bit. With the gold grab going back and forth. Of course, you have to consider that this is one tower in favor of EG. And they're still being in favor of gold for mouse. Experience graph, then we go in the way of EG, or sorry, go in the way of mouse, of course, as well. They've got most kills, and that makes a difference right there. But yeah, we're gonna be needing to see more of those kind of pickoffs. Because Lone Druid and a Gyrocopter should, in theory, out farm a Weaver and a Lifestealer. Out carry, rather, not even out farm, out carry.
Oh, this coin cost bear has building towards an armlet. Gonna be looking to take down their first tier one tower. Getting himself some extra gold. Oh, blink and lasso. Grabs himself Vitez and the Laguna Blade to finish it off. They really don't like those Illuminates, do they? That's gonna be the tower and a kill. Almost for free. Only using the lasso for that. And EG, their main goal right now, damage control. Sorry for my voice skipping. Damage control, just not die too much and wait for, for J.O. to get big. Wait for J.O. to grow huge. Peanut butter. Peanut butter sandwiches and milk. There's a lot of pressure on this guy. And I mean, he's not sh he is not safe for the lasso either. If he gets lassoed, he's gonna die. Even if he is in a rage. He's gonna be putting in, put in range for the, for the entangles. Gonna be entangled after the lasso. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for Lincoln's, just to make sure that it doesn't happen on him. And of course he's not alone. Like no, he's not the only one that is fighting. Everybody's fighting, but he's not the only one that needs to carry his team. Demon also, of course, needs to play a big role here. And he already died three times. First night time gone. But by the looks of his stats, you'll think it's never happened. Push on the bottom lane, mouse port's gonna take the last but another tier one tower. Illuminate's gonna be helping out to try and push it back, but for how long can you really push it back? The father hanging around, getting ready to jump out and get rap someone. We do have a smoke up, Demon and Fear. There is a darkness up. They might want to go for it, but they shouldn't pop the darkness too early. But the moment they do, infest out. Here they come. Who are they gonna go for? Fada. It is still a lasso and a fiend script both upon jail, but from the back end of things, here come Demon, here come Fear. Can they pick up some people? Sinrin, a lot of trouble, but it is Fear that goes down. Sinrin goes down with him. There goes Demon as well. Pass will drop as J.O. now tries to open up on Black. Can he find him? Can he open up? Four seconds until he has open wounds again. But he is forced back with an Enfeeble up on him. It is going to be Beatis and Bamboo still around there. And Tango up on Bamboo just out of range of the flames. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The sentry ward is there. He can't hide. He can't escape. Can the bear get more entangles? He's not going to try. TP out from Beatis in the end. It is a tier 1 tower that is gonna get the knight, so that is something for EG, but they still lost three of their, two of their heroes. Or three rather, because Fear of course also died. So it was a 3-4-3 three, three trade, if I'm correct. Nah, it was a 3-for-2 trade. No, 3-for-3 three three trade. Bedrider, Bane, and Lina went down. Bane already back up, that's the one I'm confused about. So 3-for-3 three three trade, okay. And the tower getting denied, so I would call that a win right now for EG. Because Mouseport's definitely ahead, and with that push, EG can, or with the counter push, EG can prove that they can still be in this game, even though they don't have the advantage right now that Mouseport has in terms of map control and gold and items and heroes and all that stuff. Gold graph is still going to be in favor of uh, Mouseport's, experience graph going to be in favor of Mouseport's. Towers are going to be in favor of Mouseport's now, with one tower in favor. And they're gonna be trying to make it two because they are sitting around the top lane. Gonna be having Cinder in here as well as Quickfa. But they need more. And they know that too, so they back off for now or wait or wait around. Or wait around. Seeing if the lane gets pushed out, seeing if Cinder can get some extra gold up for himself. Wants to have mana boots or something like that. Pass has his fiend script up again. Bamboo has got an infested life zero in him again. And they're looking for a target. One Shikushi. Maybe they can try to pick up black. They have to be ready though for the thingy. Now they they back off for the bane, I was gonna say, but they back off. Blink in lasso! Beat is you're so dead. You can try to run, but it doesn't work. Enjoy your nap! 
Enjoy your nap. Wow. That actually was really well, didn't it? Tell me it was cool. Okay, tell me it was cool. Did it sound the same? I can't do it again. I'm waiting for confirmation from the chat unless they say it's horrible. It sound in my ears, it sounds safe. Yeah, Vetus will be coming back here. Of course, illuminates are needed to counter push. That's why picking up Vetus is actually worth it like that. Sweet old man voice. Thank you. <laughs> Not the answer <coughs> I was looking for. I won't choke. But yeah, illuminates. Five heroes versus five heroes, all top. The tower they're helping out EG, but how much can it actually help out if it's dead? Is that something that mouse will try to achieve? With the bear there, with black there, bashing on it as well, with a BKB ready up on black. Another deny though. In the meantime, there they go. It's gonna be Weaver that's already getting first down. Laguna Blade helping up. Jail getting entangled, getting slowed, getting entangled again, and going down after trying to arm the to toggle himself back to full HP. Tower is gonna get denied. One more hit needed. There he goes, that's two towers a night, that's something. In the meantime, in the back end of things, it's gonna be a last two up on Demon. You're going to go down as well, Demon. Fear getting chased down by a rocket and will not be able to survive that beat. This is gonna leave him to die, probably. And it's gonna be just saying, you know what? Or, or you know what? I'm gonna die with you. I'm gonna die with you, cause I'm noble like that. Double kill going to Koi and Tangle's gonna be looked for. Beat is, one more hit, no. One more hit, no. One more hit? No. One more hit? No. Dyer's middle tower is no. Under attack. Wow. Well, now he's stuck. Never mind, no entangles. Eh. Cool. Yeah, I need more clovers on that bear. I don't know what's wrong with that, but no entangles. Where are the entangles? But yeah, another fight taking my mouse sports. Two towers now tonight on the side of my, of, of EG though, so that is, you know, that is a blessing in some way. But it's still not good losing that fight. They are so out front right now. I mean, we see the we see the top four. Where it's all it's all mouse apart from Jo. Is Jo really gonna be able to carry his team against and a lone druid and a gyrocopter? Cause Bamboo, he doesn't have anything. And he won't have anything for 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 a while. And mouse sports are gonna of course try to make profit from that one. Blink forward, lasso. Hey, fear, come here. Oh my God, it rhymes so good. And it will be uh, it will be fear that will go down. Of course, Laguna Blade, Dragon Slave, no escaping that. Mouse sports are gonna pick up the creep, creep wave, push down mid. Illuminate's gonna help out again. How much can it help out in the meantime? Of course, the rest of EG trying to push. But can they actually can they actually turtle this? Blinding light helping out. It's so hard to turtle against a bear, you know. Because bears can be sacrificed. You can just send him up the high ground and he can just take down your tier three, and you can't do anything against it. This demon trying to take a bit of the tier two. Spores back after the fortify goes off. And the rest of EG was just sitting in the base. At least. The supports were J.O. tried to be a farm. Going for an MKB by the looks of it. I will check the bear in a moment. It's just an armlet for now, I believe, though. Let's see where the bear is. Maybe he's still going for a hand of Midas? Or for Maelstrom? I hope this he's going go, gonna go for Maelstrom. Or, well, he could pick up treads for his for himself right now. Could make treads if he wanted to, but apparently he doesn't. Four staff now also up on uh, Fada. And you know, this is a pretty decent bet rider. He's pretty happy. He was, of course, in the off lane. Right? No, he was solo mid. Never mind me. But it was, I was gonna say, like, I mean, he's even. He is fourth up on the list, and he is still doing really well. 
And he's out farming bamboo. He is out farming demon. And farming everybody bar Jao. And Jao is just frantically trying to find the farm. He can't find it. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And EG, what can they do? BKB being built up by Demon? I see them trying to push perhaps. They can't defend their tier 2 anyway and they know it. But they need to defend their tier 3 because Mouse Force is not going to stop. And EG, they won't be in time to try and take a town in return for this. They won't be in time for this tier 2. Their creep wave, the backdoor protection is going to be on for too long. Maybe that range creep might be able to help out. And there's actually TPs coming in for Mouse. There's no fortification though. EG might at least take this tower, and they do. Well, that is, uh, that is a godsend. They really needed that extra gold. And losing their tier 2, not really too big of a trouble, problem, rather. But they need their core items, they need that gold. They're still gonna be massively in favor of mouse sports, though, with the experience graph. Sitting even. And the thing is, if you can keep it even, you're actually slightly getting ahead. But that's more about the gold graph than about the experience graph. And the gold graph's still going way of mouse. The thing about mouse is, are they going to be able to continue to keep it ahead when they took down the last tier 2 tower? Because right then, then they need to go for the tier 3s. And as I said, it's definitely possible with the no lone druid pushing power, it's quite immense. But mouse sports is also a team that can be very careful and sometimes too careful. In which case, they're not going to be trying to push up until they have a clear advantage. In which case, they can actually give EG more time than they normally would have had. To get their uh, items up, to get their fire fight up, fighting potential up, rather. In the meantime, Pass still going for a mechanism. It's almost got it done though, just about 100 gold, and you'll have it. And we already have the mechanism up on EG, yeah, we already have it up on, uh, on Betas. There's, there's four people now on the bottom lane, all seeing Jail farm. The demon still finding his own farm. He has to be careful though, because he's fairly close to enemy territory. Well, He's in his own jungle, but Mouse Bros is kind of taking the territory. As Black is still farming like crazy. He's got himself a Yasha now as well. We see him sitting on the high, high gold there. Ooh, Demon. Void in silence, but not going to be able to follow it up. There's nobody there. And uh, he actually might be in some trouble. Fada with the haste rune. Is he going to be fast enough? Going to try to blink and lasso and force stuff out? No, not able to do it. Demon, happy it's night time, able to run himself out of there. But the tier tower will go down. Now it's a turn to for Mouse Sports to see if they can get up the high ground. And if not, go for Roshan, then get up the high ground. That's basically what they should be doing. EG, try to lay it. They have got to keep up light. I mean. It's the best one you can hope for right now. But is it gonna be enough? We don't know yet. They can only but hope. The bear at least will not go down. Even though it turns to it, he goes to be very low. And they're gonna be defending the towers. Dyer's top tower is under attack. And he's even not gonna resummon his bear. Roshan, like I said, is going to be probably the next target for Mouse. We do already have wards here for EG, though. They are aware what the goal might be. And they might want to try to snipe it away from us. And that is indeed what they try. Let's see if they can do it. Mouse boards. I don't know what's going on. And, and Roshan will be going the way of EG. This could be the beginning of a turnaround, perhaps, for Mouse. For EG, rather. Yeah, yeah. EG. Flame break. Gonna put uh, Bamboo up on the high ground, but he'll TP. J.O. still got the Aegis, has got a Basher now as well. And will TP himself home to get his HP back up. In the meantime, Mouse Sports has smoked up. At least some have. 
Not everybody. Oh, ooh, mouse. Ooh. I mean my mouse, not mouse ports. Well, Sinrin still has, has smoke up, as well as a gyro. The gyro is not following. Gyro is going bottom. Gyro no longer has smoke. Sinrin does, though, but no longer either. I'm not an old man. What are you talking about? I'm only really an old man when I try to pretend that I'm a bat rider. But yeah, mouse ports without uh, without the ages. Are they gonna try to wait until the ages is gone and just try to farm up and buy that by doing that give EG more time to also farm up? Even though EG can't really farm their own jungle because that jungle is gonna be emptied by mouse ports. They're just locked inside their base for now. Starved for f starved for farm. With only one guy farming again, it is demon. The one that always manages to find farm. Oh, Hastroom Bat gonna be grabbing there. Gonna be grabbing beat is. Oh, that is the one hero that I said was the best counter pusher that they could have hoped for, and they are able to pick him off. And now they're gonna be able to take down the CO3 as well. Should be able to. There is no fortification. Jail. Telekinesis up on black. Here comes Bamboo. Jo tried to deny it, can't get it done. Barracks. No BDs, no Illuminate. Open wounds up on black. Jo has to be careful that he doesn't get entangled, but he can't really make sure for that. He gets entangled and he gets done. And he is gonna be dropping very low, but he is fist. No, he's dead. Demon is gonna be going down as well. His BKB no longer useful. He is gonna be up again for Jo, but what can he do? As Bamboo tries to run himself out, another open wounds up on Quick for this time, but another entangle. Blinding Light trying to help out. Sinrin, there's a need gonna be dropped. That's at least one for one. Sinrin buys back. J.O. takes down the bear, now looking for its master. Can they find more? Do they are actually gonna try to find more? Fear. Then we put in a nightmare. Hold him in place while the rest finds a way to find a new opening. Blink in last. Ooh, that's gonna be a new opening. Hey, J.O., buy J.O. Buy back for J.O. And now they pick up Demon and Fear. Fear and Bidez rather. Fear already going down. Bidez is gonna be maybe lucky again to not get entangled. Oh, but he gets a home missile. No entangles, but he'll still go down. And that's gonna be Rax. Gold Graft is going up, 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 up. And this is, yeah, Bamboo running himself away. It's gonna be able to kill off the creep wave, but it doesn't really matter. The backdoor protection is already no longer there, and they can just take down the stable Rax. Could actually rotate middle if they wanted to. Looking at their HP bars, the only thing that they're missing is a bit of mana. And the bear with the basher as well. As the life stealer. But EG holding on. You're not gonna call the GG in this game. Until you absolutely are 100%, 1000% certain that you're not gonna be able to take this game. I mean, a lot at stake. Even though this is still game one. Any small chance that you have is a chance, even though it's the smallest of the smallest. And yeah, gold grab going past 10k, 20 or 12k rather experience. Butterfly up on black, as if he wasn't farmed enough already. And Jo, the only one that we look to for the farm on the side of EG, picked up himself up another javelin. Gotta do something with that gold. Of course, in the meantime, there is a lone druid that is very farmed. With an assault crest now ready as well. There is a butterfly and mouse ports in the very clear lead. It's up to mouse ports to throw it, otherwise, they take it. It's up for EG to find the throw if it's there, obviously. Fana a bit late, looking of course gonna be looking for the Dyer's initiation for his team, but needs to actually be there if he wants to try for that. Let's see who he's gonna try for. Dyer's structures are fortified. Well, is the fortification already gone? 
So next push in they can go. Waiting for the next creep wave. Here it comes. Look for Fara. Look for a pick off. Smoke up on EG. Tier 3 towers. They're gonna drop from the side. Here they come. Darkness is popped. They need to fight. They know it. And they find themselves black, but he pops his BKB in the meantime. Last two and Fiends grip all up on J.O. Not gonna be able to get himself away, and it's gonna be Bamboo running for his life. They're gonna be time lapsing himself into safety, but J.O. and Demon, Demon already down. Now Fear goes down as well as Bamboo and BD is the last two survivors for their team as the GG is called and EG taps out at game number one of the loser bracket semi-finals. EG. The team that was expected to be taking it all now drop one game in what could potentially be their last showing in the qualifiers of the International 3. Their last chance to go to TI3 is in the next game. They need to win two in a row to be able to still go to the loser bracket finals. Mouse Sports, of course, are going to be very happy with their results here. And they are looking to 2 OEG to secure their spot in the loser bracket final tomorrow. But for now, another game of Mouse Sports versus EG is going to come up. And let's hope that EG has a bit more luck and we're gonna see a game number three because I know that they can do better. And I wanna at least see a game number three. So stick around because there uh, are more games coming up and of course with more games I just mean Mouse Sports vs EG and you do not wanna miss that one. Not for the world you would want to. So stick around. I'll be back.